All right, perfect. Should be good now, I think. All right, let's get into this game. Let's see, making sure TA is showing up. Oh my god. Okay, I guess I can't charge my phone this way. Okay, so let's see here. So this is the 2022 Pro TA Summer Tournament. And uh, we are at the finals between Rock and Menton here. Rock is up 3-0 currently and they are playing game four on shards. I believe this is Met uh, Menton's pick. Menton has gone Kbot first. And Rock has decided to go vehicle. Interesting. I like it. Uh, usually you see K-Bot starts nowadays, but I kind of like the vehicle start here. Uh, for this specific map. Just because the cons are... Uh, they have more build power, and uh, I don't really think he's going to be building that much. I feel like the more cons you build, the more you probably want to go K-Bot, but we'll see here. Uh, Men's a little bit ahead on his timing, as his air factory is almost already up. <laughs> Can you guys see this? Yeah, you guys can see it. Perfect. And I hope the sound is working. Uh, I know the mic and stuff, is, but like the game sound. So if you guys don't hear any game sound, once, start, uh, once stuff starts popping off, uh, please let me know. And I'll try to fix that as soon as possible. Rock going to Peeper first. And I kind of just like what Mitten's doing here. He's just Atlas first. Get your calm on the aisle. That's kind of how you play this map. As you do want to secure at least one of these big islands. Like if you don't, uh, you're just, you're kind of just screwed, to be honest. So Rock. Doing it a little bit safer, going Freedom Fighters first before he's going to do his drop. And Metten is rushing out the K-Bot lab here. So he can start grabbing these mexes and getting the anti up right away. Might just make some quick Jethro's here. Oh, not even. I mean, he doesn't really need it. 
as uh, the FF count, the Freedom Fighter count, is still quite small. So, he doesn't seem too worried about it, and I don't think he should be. Mm, I would like to see him try to grab some other islands, though, with his atlas. I do like what he's doing here. Instead of grabbing the cons from his main island, he's going to start grabbing them from here, which is, I think it's a lot better. And there's a lot less distance to travel for his atlas. Rock has dropped his com on the, on one of these main uh, aisles here. And he's already, he's got two atlases and he's rushing for this island. Oh, I like that. Because he knows he's ahead on the Freedom Fighters, or at least he was. Oh, snipes the Atlas. A little bit annoying for uh, Metton, but he does win the Freedom Fighter trade. Which will give him uh, air superiority for the time being. Rock did a good, he did get a con on this island though, so this island is officially contested. And a vehicle con has more build power than a K-Bot, so. Uh, Rock smartly uh, transporting an a Samson over for some anti-air on the island. Honestly, even a flash, like atlasing a flash over could be really annoying. <laughs> and then you can use the Samson to kind of cover it. Oh, that works too. Bomber to take out the missile tower. Now, uh, Menton really doesn't have much he can do here. Yep. Nice pick. He got a freedom fire for free there. Going advanced already. What's up? Is that you, Ark? Man, I just woke up, so sorry for if I sound raspy or sleepy because I am. Uh, both. <laughs> I am so tired. I'm still drinking my coffee. Oh, well, it looks like Rock has secured this, uh, this island here, and he does have somewhat control of this island, too. Not looking good for Metten here. The double Atlas kind of paying off for Rock. Um, I do think Met needs to fight for at least one of these. It just later in the game, this territory becomes pretty important, having the side island to uh, build on. So let's take a look around. You just woke up too. Yeah, no, I missed. I missed pretty much. It rocks up 3 0 right now. I missed all the. Uh, <laughs> I missed like the first three games. What is this? Exception Cotton. What was that? Is the replay busted? Hold on, let me check Taff real quick, guys. Uh, I think... I think something happened to the game, because Metten... It's showing that Metten's not in the game anymore. So I think Metten might have DC'd. Which is... Uh, unfortunate.
Man didn't just quit, did he? It's <laughs> like, well, not getting the side owl. Fuck it. <laughs> Because, uh, I mean, he can contest that later. Hmm. I mean, Rock was in a bit of a better position, but, I mean... Game is far from over. Like, Metin's already almost got his advanced up. All right, so I got the news. His recorder crashed, so that's what that's what happened there. So we're gonna back out and um, and wait here for them to restart the game. I think they're gonna just do a replay. What's up, Xavier? Glad to see some TA action. I'm an Escalation player, but this mod looks great for more strategic play. Yeah, I agree. I'd say it's a little more competitive, uh, competitively polished. Um, um so... Glad you like at least watching Proti at least. Yeah, I, I I agree with that. All right, so they're gonna have to. Yeah, Rock's saying he was ahead. I think you guys just replayed it. Like, the game was too early to just... I mean, Rock did have control of the, aisle, like, of the four aisles, but... It's like he didn't even have an MT finished on the island yet. I mean, you can't really say you had full control of it just yet. Yeah. <laughs> I think a redo is in order. So I think uh, Metten's going to fix that up. Try to get his recorder working correctly. Should we just watch one of the games while we're waiting? That might be a good idea. All right, so let's start with PD. I think this is game one. Yes, good idea. All right, cool. So yeah, we'll watch a game, watch uh, game one while we're waiting for them to set up. Because I do want to watch the games while they're played live. I think it's it's uh. Um. More exciting that way. 
All right, so it looks like we got Rock on the top left playing his arm in the red. And on the bottom right, we have Metten in the green playing his arm as well. Um, we will up the speed a little bit. That way we can get back to the live game as soon as possible. Fish for two. Thanks for the subscription, man. Thanks for subscribing. Appreciate it, bro. Damn, my phone needs juice, boys. It's on 10%, and it's what I'm using to read you guys. Okay, I like what um, Metten's doing here. Air, he's going air first, and he's going to get air cons, and he's just going to start reclaiming these rocks really fast. I actually kind of like this start. Um, I actually want to see how Rock will deal with this with uh, with a vehicle start. So I'm glad both players are doing something different. I don't know. I don't know if I like this. I feel like you need to just, if you just start sucking the rocks up right away. Because you want to get your vehicle plan out as quickly as possible with this strat. Oh, he reclaim. I don't even. You don't even need to reclaim. I don't think. Like, hmm. Honestly, I think you just keep building more air cons or a bomber or something. Like, I don't think there's any point in reclaiming the the factory there. So Rock playing pretty standard. He's got Samson's uh, ready for Jeffy rushes. And he does have two flashes, and, or three flashes, and two Jeffies on the way. Looking, trying to find an opening here, but I don't think he's going to get it. And I kind of like what Rock's doing. He's kind of just... He realizes it's probably not a good idea to send the units in because they're just going to die. So um, he's kind of just keeping his units lurking out here to slow down the expansion of Metton, make him have to react for it. Oh, here he goes. He's sending in his flash. He should be able to... Doesn't quite get to kill the next, but he will get this one. So, good little pickup from Rock there. And Rock already starting to expand pretty quick here. Idle factory, though. This is where stuff starts to get spicy. I mean, men's got a lot of flashes on the uh, on the field here. Looks like Metten's uh, reacting this quite well. Should be able to clean that up. Huh. Weird. That D gun looked like it hit, but eh, it's just a little bit of lag. So Metton's on three factories, Rock's on two. We should be able to figure out where this con is if he's looking at the reclaim prints. So you want to see something? A little trick. That the pros use is they follow these little reclaim you can see when somebody reclaims something so you follow these and this tells you where the con is at basically it's 
basically like free map hacks. <laughs> This map is probably one of the most APM intensive maps as uh, you are reclaiming, you are defending, you are attacking, and you are building all at the same time. So, And it's a big, big map. Uh, Rock is definitely doing a better job at the expansion. But uh, Men's got a lot of flashes just all around his base. He's doing a very good job raiding. Looks like Rock has pretty much cleared up all the attacks here. What happened to this con? Oh, he did kill the con too. So good pickups from Menton here. The, what I'm worried about is his uh, expansion isn't quite probably where he wants it to be. Yeah, he's got an idle factory. His con factory is idle. So I think Menton's perhaps might be microing a bit too much with his units, and I feel like this map you just need to build, 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 you know? It's like, yeah, you know, you want to control your flashes and be efficient with them, but at the same time, I think it's just way better just to keep your cons busy on this map as well as you can. So otherwise you, you fall way behind on like expansion like look rocks getting uh, defenses up and all these good choke points so all this raiding that Metton's doing is is it's slowly gonna stop being as uh, effective and then rock can start doing some nice counterattacks that's kind of what I'm seeing here all right we got a big push here from rock yep that con's going down. So you do want to prioritize sniping these uh, construction units because this is how you expand, this is how you grow your economy. It's basically how you just get bigger. So the more cons you snipe, uh, the better off you will be. See with PD it's so hard to keep up with everything. So I will slow, I should probably, slow. I'll put on plus one. Big attack here from Rock, but Menton's ready for it. Oh, Menton does sneak a flash through. It's a mix. Oh, Rock, you cheeky fuck. Okay, so Rock is defending his con very nicely here. Being very annoying. Putting dragon teeth in front of the con so the flash can't hit it. Good move from Rock there. Metton's doing a good, he's uh, doing a good job. Ah, I don't know if I like this though. I feel like you need one factory on cons here. But other than that, his uh, expansion's looking pretty good. Good pickups from Metton there, and a big attack here from uh, Metton. Splitting up his units a little bit. He's he's looking for cons. That's what his goal is here with this attack. 
And he does find one, but I don't know if he's going to be able to pick it off. Yeah. Oh, he's trying to get it now. Yeah, not quite. Brock did a good job defending that there. And see, these counterattacks aren't doing as much now, as you can tell. That he's got good defenses in key spots, so these raids aren't doing as well as they as they were before. And uh, now the counterattacks are going to be a little troublesome for Menton here. So yeah, Menton's just pure flash. And so is Rock now. But he's still squeezing out, like, there's a con that just came out. So he's still trying to make cons to grow. I think he just, he just makes, he's making sure he doesn't fall behind on units. Um, so good raids here from Rock. Should be able to pick up that con. Yeah, he's gonna get it. <laughs> Curious to see when we will see advanced. Um, neither player can really afford it just yet, so it's understandable that they are not doing that yet, uh, just yet. This is a big raid here from Rock. These cons are just begging me, begging to die. Kill me. Oh, they actually get away. <laughs> oh, Rock does find one. It looks like Metton cleans up the rest of the attacks. He's just got to worry about this. See, Rock's so good at this. He's very patient. Um, he's really good at just not, like, throwing units away for free. He'd rather just, like, keep you zoned out than send units in, which I think is better. And it looks like Metton's going more cons as he realizes, I think... I need some more to... You do need more cons to get bigger. Rock's really starting to take over the map here. Missile Towers, they're good unit. <laughs> Very good unit. You got a lot of range. And when you spread them out like this, it kind of makes it hard for flashes to um, clean them up. Because they have to cover so much distance to kill each one that... Uh, <laughs> takes a lot of time. Rock's doing a good job at stopping this attack here. I think at this point, uh, Metton's kind of just throwing units away without really doing too much. So now he's got a huge army in the middle, and he's probably going to just send this straight down. Yeah, Rock's really starting to 
take over the map here. Ben's making a fourth factory. Ooh, it's not looking good for Ben all of a sudden. Yeah, Rock's looking pretty huge. And Rock's got air out now for air cons. He's going to use that to just reclaim all these wrecks. Even on Metton's side, he can grab them. So, pretty useful. And he is going advanced. So, I like the way Rock is playing here is pretty pretty solid, man. And if you think about it, rocks are solid. Yeah, I think Matt, even Matt realizes that he's, he's just too far behind at this point. Rock getting control of the center, which is very nice to have on this map. And starting to get LLTs up right down the middle here. So PD usually wants to split up into like a into like a sliced grilled cheese. You know what I'm saying? Like that sideways cut. So you kind of want to have it's like uh, southeast versus northwest is kind of how you want to split this map in half. And Rock is getting LLTs up right at that half halfway mark, which is great. Um, it's gonna make it really hard to break those areas. Uh, I'm curious to see if what Metten's plan here is. And Rock is just huge. He's already at both corners. And Rock is going straight into Panthers. I like this. Does he have advanced con anywhere? No. I think he just wants to get the pressure on right away with these Panthers, which is probably a good idea. Honestly, he should send his commander over here. Oh, he does have one, so he's going to start his Moho Mine. So I was like, yeah, usually you just want to at least make one. Um, so Moho Mines are on the way, which will give him, I think instead of plus two, plus six. <laughs> yeah, rocks are solid. <laughs> He's living up to his name with his solid gameplay. And Rock's got a huge attack here on the left. Yeah, Men's gonna have a hard time stopping that. And the beauty of these Panthers is they're really fast. Like look, they're already at the center of the map and they're pushing in. These Panthers are going to put in work. Uh, uh, sorry about that. My throat is dry as F. Metton's advance now, which uh, you kind of you either have to match his advance or um, just make way more flashes to compete with Panthers. So he's making his own Panthers now. Uh, see how Rock just has big control groups of units in all all areas of the map. Then I sending units over here so he can create another big control group. He's going to kind of just slowly swallow up Metten until the map is all red. Slow, methodical play from Rock here. Not taking too many risks with his attacks. 
Got a nice little HLT up here. It's a good spot for it. How are the volumes, guys? Should I turn the, like, music volume, game volume, voice volume? Is it okay? Should I turn up the music a bit or turn it down or what? And Rock's already got Advanced Con in the center, going for the rich, he's going for the rich maxes. And now he's going Advanced K-Bot. Yeah, Rock's just looking huge here. That is a big army. <laughs> One flash, try to be a hero. Your death will not go into vain, Mr. Flash. You died an honorable death. Uh, for the arm. That's a big attack from rock here. I think this is going to be uh, the finishing blow here as he does have a bunch of units accumulating on the left side for the next attack. Yeah, I just don't see Menton stopping this. He just doesn't have enough units and there's no defenses here. Nice attack from the left. Oh yeah, he's gonna get into all the energy and once the energy dies, GG. It's over at that point. Just playing, uh, just playing really well. Oh, it's going for the comp snipe, and he gets some baby down goes Benton. So, Rock after this game is up 1 0, but we already know that he's up 3 0. Let's see if they have uh, fixed their issues here with the recorder. It's a nice game from Rock there. Nice game. All right, and they are playing, and they're already 15 minutes in. Oh, boy. All right, we got, got some catching up to do. All right, let's see what you guys are saying here. Okay, loading up the replay here. Sound volume is good. TA sounds are drowning out the music just a tad. All right, I can turn up the mu I'll turn up the music a little bit for you guys. Hopefully that's better. Yeah, the TA sounds get really loud because they like stack.
All right, let's get into it. Okay, so Metton doing the same start he did last time, and so is Rock. No deviations. Let's go! Hell yeah, bro. I am hungry. Let me... I need to find a snack, boys. I need to get more water. My throat is... I need water. <laughs> All right, got some water and an apple. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so let's see. The right air now, and uh, looks like Metin is scouting the island. Didn't go for the fast calm drop this time. Interesting. Changing it up. He's. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. I like what Ben's doing here. Okay, so he's going for the outer island first. Because he's pretty much sure that he can take this main island, right? So he's going for the outer island first. Um, that way, he doesn't have to contest it later. He's already got it secured. And here goes Rock. Rosh, uh, Rosh. Rock is going to the double atlas once again. And he is going to drop the Samson. Looks like he's going to off screen it over to this bottom island here. But, man, so that he does have a. Uh, Freedom Fighters patrolling there, so there is a potential for him to uh, kill this thing. And his second Atlas has the common, and he's going for the island. Always risky when you're doing this. Your heart's pumping when you're dropping that commander off in the Atlas. And uh, he does get the Samson off, so that's good. That kind of gives him a little bit of control of this island here. And Metin now has his calm at the main island. So, honestly, I, I like this adjustment that Met Metin made by sending the con here first. So we'll see how this plays out now. Looks like Rock's gonna Atlas another uh, Samson over.
Was that first or so that the the PD one? That was the first match. This is uh, we skipped over to game four, which is this this match right here. This is actually a live match. Uh, I woke up late, so I kind of missed um, the first three games, but I did stream the first game at least. Um, so after whenever this tournament finishes, however it plays out, we'll try to watch the rest of the games that I missed here. And then later I can edit it and then put the games in the right order. So um, I'll probably end up doing that later on after the stream. Well, Rock did sneak a con on here. That's the beauty of vehicle. The vehicle cons are so much faster. Um, I feel like if this is a vehicle con, he probably could have got empties up in nice spots. So Rock can't do that. Uh, drop his con there. But I definitely like Rock going vehicle here instead of uh, K bot. Because then you can always just do this. You can just build a K-Bot right after. Vehicle cons are just better here. As uh, they have more build power and they're faster. So they, he's going to claim these mexes a lot sooner than Metanwall. Metan's already working on advanced. Um, he was ahead on the advanced uh, last time too. And for some reason my chat is not... The chat on my phone's not updating. Darn it. So I'm gonna have to alt tab to read you guys. Yep, yeah, top left's gonna get contested for. I do like the vehicle start from rock. On this map specifically. But men does have the vehicle plant up. He needs to get this building though before Rock finishes his. Otherwise, it's free game at that point. So at the moment, Men has an advantage here, and he is building flashes. Perfect, perfect. Oh. Men's really trying to. Oh, well, it's a good thing. Men's doing a good job here. He's making the defenders focus on this. So you can get free damage off with the, the Freedom Fighters on the MTs. He just wants to make sure he doesn't lose all of his Freedom Fighters for free here. Yeah, see, uh, Rock's focus firing the Freedom Fighters now. Probably gonna lose all the freedom fighters for this. Well, maybe not. And the flashes are they are out now, and there's two cons here, so I think Metten has secured this island here, but it looks like Rocks secured this one. For the most part, this air con's gonna take forever to build that. So, I mean, if he gets that factory up, that that'll be troublesome for Rock, but. I just, I don't know if he'll actually get that up in time. Meanwhile, Rock has gone to advance K-Bot. Which is the right play here, I think, because you want to get the Farks. The Farks are probably the most important thing in the late game. And he's building advanced K-Bot on his main island. Metan... Hasn't actually going for a little bit of a change up here instead of rushing the advance like he did last time. He's going to get a second air factory out first. I think he just wants to make sure he gets this top island. Nice little bomb run here from... Rock. 
clock just slowly chipping away at him. Oh, that's cheeky. That's cheeky, Rock. There you go. <laughs> he put it behind the Yank Spankers. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow uh, met and snuck a con on here. Interesting. And Metton's gonna go. He's got a lot of build power on bombers now. Curious to see if he's gonna use if he's just gonna stack them up for a bomb run, or is he building those to contest this island here? Rock, absolute tryhard, atlasing Farks over to the, the main island. I like it. See, Rock just doing these, like, little things, it, it really adds up. Um, surprised he didn't Atlas uh, advance Con over first. To be honest, but I, I'm pretty sure he's going to in a second here. I hear, I hear Mex is being control K'd or control deed, and yep, he is starting to take his Moho mines now. All right, so what does each player go from here? That's the question. So, two things come to mind. Uh, Big Bertha's or Ox. Ox and uh, Advanced Bombers. Neither player really showing either yet. Kind of just building up their economy. Yeah, it's just two next to each other, so it reaches over to the other one. They don't have to be, like, pixel perfect, the mohos, because they're so big. So, yeah, kind of just waiting to see... Uh, a lot of Metton's cons are idle. Rock definitely using control B, keeping his cons busy. Or busier. And here we go. Here's the, the tech reveal. Rock is going for Big Bertha's. Big Bertha's before advanced air. But men's already uh, saved up bombers for it, so. Men trying hard to fight for this island here. Just being annoying to Rock, making Rock have to focus over here instead of uh, building in his main base. Let's take, take a look and see what Menton's up to, what, what he's building. So yeah, it looks like, just like in the Venom game, Venom went for a... Uh, Intimidators, which is basically the core equivalent to uh, the Big Bertha. And Metton went bombers, pretty much. He went hawks and bombers. And uh, ended up working out for him. And this, we'll see how it plays out in this one. I don't know. Those, those Intimidators were strong. We'll see. I'm pretty sure Rock's gonna go for he'll rush one and then go for advanced air right afterwards. I hear flashes. Oh, here we go. Wow, Menton actually got that factory up. And he might actually win this island with 
<laughs> the fuck? That aircon, dude. MVP. MVP aircon. Where is it? Did it die? That air. You remember that aircon from like five minutes ago? He actually got the factory up, and it might actually win him this aisle now. <laughs> Rock needs to build a factory quickly. So Metton, he's got control of the side aisles, most likely. Nice splitting of the flashes there, making sure that he kills them all right away. Uh oh, uh oh, rock. Very good for Ben here. He's got control of the side islands. Um, now, if he can get like big berthas and factories all over these islands and stuff, it makes it very hard for Rock to to scout and kill all that stuff. So. Can be a nightmare later on in the game for Rock here. Hopefully we see him. He he might need to contest for one of them later on. Uh, at the moment, it's not the biggest deal. Um, until he starts getting these mohoed. Like once he just have moho mines on it, it starts adding up. And Metten's going for a BB now as well not a lot of build power on it so it's gonna he's slow building it really focusing on bombers um honestly so far from what i've seen in the tournament from men like he, he plays these air maps super solid so i kind of like men's position here to be honest rock finally going advanced air He does have more economy. And here come the bombers. Very nice. Oh wait, Rock's got advanced bombers. I didn't see that. Okay, so Rock's building bombers too. I didn't see this factory or this uh, airplane here. Oh, but Metton snipes that. Oh, that's so annoying. He gets it with, like, the last bomber. But at least it leaves him the big wreck, you know, so he can... He gets most of his metal. Hey! Bartolf, thank you for the follow, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, he did a proxy factory and took that island with it. Um, sorry about this. I have to alt tab just to read what's going on. For some reason, my phone, the restream chat will not update and it doesn't show what you guys are saying. So kind of a, kind of a little bit annoying. So I have to alt tab every now and then to see what you guys are saying. So if you see this, if you see the game stuck on like one screen for a little bit, I'm probably alt tabbed reading you guys. So yeah, that proxy vehicle factory with the aircon, MVP aircon, um, ends up winning this side island here, which is pretty big for Metten. And he's already got advanced con there to get mohos up right away. Solid, solid, solid. Metten's big berth is almost up too. Oh, but right here comes Rock. Rock's, now it's Rock's turn to do a bombing run, and these are advanced bombers. I don't know about that. I don't know why I stopped there, but. Yep. Nice run from Rock there. Oh, he sniped. He sniped the comp. Wow. Wait, how did he know? He, wasn't he cloaked? Wow. 
Wow. Damn, that was look it was looking good for Menton too. Uh, <sighs> Bummer. All right, guys. Well, Rock Rock wins 4-0. Not the ending I was expecting there. <laughs> well, GG. Yeah, it just sometimes it goes that way. Damn. I'm sure people are saying a bunch of stuff here in the Discord, so let's go take a look at that. Benton was ahead. Oh, that's from the game before. Oh, man, that's a bummer for Menton, guys. I think the com... I'm pretty sure the com... I didn't see it. If his comm wasn't cloaked, I just I just didn't notice it. Was his comm cloaked, guys? Because if his comm was cloaked, that was just the most unluckiest thing I've ever seen. Wasn't visible. Assume, okay. Yeah. That's just super unlucky for Menton, man. I don't think that was an. I rewatched the end. Menton had just picked up his comm with an at. Oh, Menton. Why, why would he do that? Oh, man. That sucks. Well, yeah, definitely a lucky ending there for Rock. I think uh, men had some good chances that game, to be honest. He had both control the side islands or side aisles. Atlas snipe confirmed. Dang, that sucks. That sucks. Nobody's really saying anything, so I think I wonder if I think everybody's still watching the game. Um, wait, let's watch. All right, we're going to watch game two now. So we're going to watch the rest of the games. I kind of want to see what happened to get to game four. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Metton goes core here. Which honestly isn't that surprising. Like, um, C maps in general usually favor core a little bit. So, for somebody to go core here isn't that shocking. Rock, stay, Rock stays uh, armed, though. Rock says he hasn't really sussed this map out. What does that mean? Like, I figured out a good way to play it, I guess.
Ends going for. Looks like a Skeeter rush. So he's going to rush searchers. And uh, it kind of looks like Rock is doing a similar build to Timmy Fred's, which Timmy Fred did beat Rock on this map in the semifinals. Timmy had a good build order for this map. He beat me on it too, quite quite easily. Man, my my map bans were just so bad. I should have banned this map and um, premium junk for sure. Although the premium junk game, I think if I were to just kept my calm alive, I think I can win that game because uh, I would have killed Timmy's whole base with that counter attack that I did. So if I would have just played that a little bit better with my comm, put him a little farther back. Maybe like hide him behind the factory so the, the vehicle plant kind of absorbs some reaper shots. Um, I could have uh, gotten the W there. But it was the heat of the moment. Yeah, this is looking very similar to Timmy Fred's build. So Rock doing a calm walk. Um, see, maps kind of play out differently than any other TA. Like uh, most games of TA, kind of play out the same. You just get there differently. But C maps are it's it's it kind of just feels like a totally different uh, way to play the game. You don't really want to stall ever. And that's why you see Rock doing a calm walk here. As, uh, cause you, you just can't afford to guard the f this shipyard with your calm early on. You, you'll just stall on metal and then it just slows everything down by a lot. Oh. I just, uh, I don't know if that was enough there for, to make it worth for Metten. And he reclaimed his C factor. Interesting. Not sure why. Why would you do that? Because he could have just had stuff slow building up here instead of reclaiming it. And then just walk his comp. Kind of like what Rock did. Uh, this is looking very good for Rock now. Yeah, and Rock just reads builds the energy. And honestly, he'll be fine. I think Rock's in a way better spot here. So let's see what you guys are saying. All right, see ya, uh, TBSC. So yeah, Rock's just gonna probably calm walk to somewhere around here and build a second shipyard. And he's getting more cons out um, to grab these outer mexes here. Way, way ahead of where Metten's at at the moment. And Rock's gonna do a little bit of a counterattack. And these, so he uses these sonars, he turns them off, which when you turn them off, it actually gives you energy. But they're very weak. And um, when you stack them like this close together, they have like a chain reaction explosion. So it'll blow them all up if he kills one. And that's going to hurt Metin a little bit on his energy. Titles are a lot beefier, harder to kill, so...
Brock can even kill these real quick and then run away without really taking too many losses. Yeah, see how fast they die? And that was about like 30, 30 a she just down the drain there, plus the wind. And then he can run away, only loses like two skeets probably. Definitely worth it there for Menton, or Rock, I mean. Definitely worth it for Rock. Yeah, this is not, not looking good for uh, Menton right now. In this in this map, it it's like once you have a lead on it, it's uh, it's really hard to 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 lose it unless you do like a huge blunder of an attack with your skeeters or searchers. And from what I've seen, Rock pretty much plays pretty pretty safe. He doesn't really like overextend too often with units. Yeah, Rock's saying he never saw Metten's calm, so it's just a lucky pickoff on his part. Man, that sucks for Metten. And that's how the tourney ends, guys. 4-0 to Rock. Yep, Rock's getting his uh, second shipyard out. Men's not even close to getting his second out, so. Rock's going to have double the production as Metten. And um, it's going to really start snowballing this lead here. This is probably like the worst time for Rock to attack, I think. Because um, you really want to use this production here. I think you should get a good amount of skeets out of this factory before he pushes in. That way, it you know that that extra production actually matters. Because in about like two to three minutes here, he's gonna have way more skeets than uh, men at this point. Menton trying to take the most rich mexes here. He's trying to catch up on metal. He knows he's behind. Um, so he's trying to just do anything he can to keep the metal difference uh, as close as possible. Rock asking how you have so much. Because he knows he had a very, very good start versus him. And honestly, yeah, Menton's skeet numbers are pretty strong considering he's only on one factory. That's why I think this is this is probably the worst time for Rock to attack. You really want to secure that skeeter lead with his production before going in. But he's going to get a free con. See, now these Skeeters are kind of trapped here. We can trap these. And the wrecks are on Metten's side of the map. Which can help Metten get back in this game. Like, he's, you know, he is behind, but it's not it's not over. He took a really good trade there. Uh, but he is going to lose two, two Seacons, which is it's kind of rough. All right, Rock just needs to fully retreat and rebuild his skeet numbers as he's way ahead in production. Men's only getting his second factory up now. Rock has three. So now Rock just needs to just honestly just wait. He just needs to wait and let those skeeters rebuild up because he's building them three to one at the moment. 
Honestly, I'd, uh, I don't know if I like this attack from Metin here. Because you just keep your skeets here and get the reclaim. Yeah, see now Rock, he already has more numbers than Metin. And now he's got a reclaim field on his side, so that's even worse for Metin. Rock's already working on shipyard number four. Ah, man. Looks like, looks like Menton control, he controlled Deed, which is, uh, he self-destructed his, his searchers there, so he didn't leave more wrecks, but, yeah, see, now he just has no units. Rock's just gonna send all these Skeeters in, and he's just gonna kinda run over Menton now. Just sitting in Skeeters everywhere, making it a nightmare for Metton to defend. Snipes that expanding con. Yeah, this is not this is not looking good for Metton here. Another con snipe. So I don't even think Metton has any cons. He has zero cons on the field. Rock has killed literally all of his cons. Eh, I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't say that was a dumb, uh, dumb attack by Rock. He literally killed all of his cons. I guess he does leave a big wreck pile here. But honestly, Rock just needs to fall back like he's doing now. He can control this wreck field here. And just rebuild those skeet numbers because he just has more production. It's like, yeah, he left Rock, uh, you know, he left Menton some Rex on his side, but he has no cons to reclaim it, so it's like he killed like four cons with that attack. I'd say that's worth it. I would like to see Rock switch into Crusaders here pretty soon. I think that'd be a good way to Put the nail in the coffin on this game. Yeah, Rock's definitely got the numbers here. But, um, yeah, Crusaders would really speed up the finishing the game process. Looks like Rock's putting up a little skeet force over here to do like uh He's he's looking for cons with that squad down there. That's what he's looking for. Cons or titles. Here's a con, I didn't even realize. And Rock is, <laughs> he must have spotted it because he sent all you units to go grab it. <laughs> He's like, you're not getting that reclaim. That's mine, my metal. He might be able to snipe that before all these Skeeters die. Let's see if he decides to, it doesn't look like he's deciding to focus on it. Yeah, he's not gonna get that. Yeah, at this point, I think Rock just has too much. The 
way it rock attacked here, though, not very good. Yeah, this unit's way too spread out. So a bit of a botched attack here from Rock. I think at this point you just you don't even need to split your skates up like this anymore. You just group them all up and just push in. Crusaders? Alright, here we go. Here are the Crusaders. Perfect. Bartolf, hey, thanks for subscribing, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it very much. So we are watching game two between Rock and Menton um, on the map Pro Cord uh, Cold Corridor. Probably one of the coolest. Uh, water maps that I played on. I definitely like this map. I'm just not good at sea maps. I, I've, I don't really have much experience on them compared to the other maps. So, all sea maps, definitely not my strong point. saying end it which uh, yeah rock just has way more at this point there you go and Metten taps out so game two goes to rock check out the score screen if it pops up Yeah, rock nearly doubling the metal produced. It's just way, 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 way far ahead on economy. Rock's just too damn good, guys. He's just too good. All right, last game here is... Um, Gods of War 2, a classic. Well, thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. I appreciate you guys being here. And here we go. Game 3. This will be the... The last game, let's see how it plays out. It's sad because we kind of already know who... Um, well, I won't spoil it for the YouTube guys, you know. Because um, I will be... Uh, uploading these to YouTube as a, as a cast, not a live stream. So I'll be editing this uh, in order since I uh, I was asleep while they played most of the games, so. Okay, both players, literally identical starts. One mix, K-Bot Lab. I mean, this one, this one mech start, it's basically banking on your opponent not going air first. Uh, otherwise, I just, I don't know. I don't really like this one mech start with, if uh, it's not very good against air first, in my opinion. But honestly, I haven't really seen anybody do air first on this map.
honestly, I still think it could be pretty strong since there's a ton of uh, these rocks here to reclaim um, with air cons. So you can get a bom rush a bomber and then just get air cons. And as long as you have a pretty solid bombing run, like it'll slow down this one mech start too. Because then basically he has to use all these rock reclaims just to rebuild mechs. And then he won't have pretty much any metal to uh, no metal in the bank. But he, he can just reclaim this factory, rush the air. That's what they're worried about. They're just reclaiming the factory, rushing the air, and then spamming freedom fighters to counter the air super quickly. I think this way is just the most efficient. Sorry for the crunches. But this apple is delicious. I'll try not to chew in the mic. Let me make sure, is my, I am streaming this, right? Oh, I'm not. Whoops. It's okay, you guys didn't miss much. Nothing's really happened yet. The action's about to start now, actually. Basically, all that happened is both players went, K-Bot start, they reclaimed their factory, rushed out aircraft plant, and, uh, now it becomes Freedom Fighter Wars for, for the islands. I play this map completely different than um, how these guys are playing it. Personally, I like going Sea Second and rushing uh, Hulk, which is the sea transport. And then you just use the Skeeters for anti-air against the Freedom Fighters. And uh, you can just take the islands that way. And then you can just, since you're already sea and they're not, like if they go air, you can just start building sea resources right away. And pull ahead in economy. That's how I like to play this map. I mean, every time I've used it, it's it's worked out pretty well for me. But um, I haven't really tested it against somebody, at, you know, at the caliber of rock or net, so. Okay, nice little pick off by rock. Yep. It's just all freedom fighters. Oh, looks like, okay, Manton's going to go for the transport. Oh, that was rough. Oh. Looks like a pretty even trade, pre uh, pretty even exchange there. Both players lost two Freedom Fighters. But Rock has more currently. He's got six now. Because Metton went for an Atlas. And Rock is already working on C. I like I like what he's doing with this. He's just using the con to build it instead of uh that way he can keep he can keep his calm on the air plant on the air plant to keep uh air superiority. Oh oh that's unlucky for Rock. He's gonna miss that uh transport. Bummer. Rock's got a lot of freedom fighters. He can literally come up here and probably two shot this thing. Which he might actually do. And he sees it. 
So yeah, one volley did about half, almost half. So three volleys and that thing dies. Good micro from Metin though. He's using this to block uh, the Freedom Fighter shots. And Rock switching into Skeets. So he's going to put Skeets around his islands um, to keep them safe from air. And then he's going to start transporting. He's going to, and I like what he's doing. He's rushing more than one so he can just take these owls super fast. Solid, solid play from Rock here, man. Just, his timing's so fresh, so clean. Metton's got two cons on this uh, second island that he's expanded to, which will help him take over the island faster. <laughs> which I think is, I think it's the right play. It's better to, I think it's better to just take one island at a time. But what Rock's doing, I think it just shows he's confident that he can defend both at the same time. So, and then he's just going to drop more cons. He'll drop probably one more here and one more here. Maybe even one right here. I would like to see one get dropped here so he can just grab these. And good place for Rock to park these Freedom Fighters. He's just gonna try to deny Met getting this his third island over here while he takes his. Oh, but here comes men. Oh, they're both doing like a patrol. Fuck, pay attention, buddy. See if Metten had went in there, he could have got a really good trade. Uh it's, it's unfortunate. This rock wasn't really watching his freedom fighters there. And uh, Menton did have the peepers. Uh, peepers, they give you radar, so he definitely saw those on the radar there. He could have gotten the first, first engagement, which gives you a huge advantage in the freedom fighter fights. Um, whoever gets the first volley off usually has the advantage. Okay, both players sneak out of Seacon and more Skeets. Pretty even game so far. Like, both players have three islands. Ooh. Okay. Good exchanges there, but I think Rock came out a little bit ahead. Rock having these skeets here was the what made the difference. I think two two freedom fighters died to these. So Rock switching into bombers. He's gonna start bombing. He's going for the economy now. He's you know gonna hit the. Uh, Try to slow down these island expansions with bombers instead. Since uh, Skeets, once Skeets are on the field, the Freedom Fighters become less, less effective. So I think good switch there by Rock. So that first run, he's kind of just using the bomber to scout, see where the MTs are. Um, so yeah, pretty basic run there. And then he's going to come in with the second pass, get all the MTs. Good bombing run there from Rock.
And Rock has reclaimed his C and he's going to rush Advanced K-Bot, which means Pelicans incoming. I like this move from Rock because uh, he's like, okay, man, it's investing quite a bit into these Skeeters. And what counter Skeeters? Pelicans. Um, a little bit slow reaction from Rock there pulling that con away. I think, I think he could have gotten that con away a lot sooner. Which sucks for him. But all the wrecks are going to be in front of Rock's doorstep here, so... He has control of these wrecks, and his advance is almost up, so... These wrecks will help him uh, get some moho mines out. And some pels. And then he can start killing off these skeets and raiding these islands. Meanwhile, Metten, no, no sign of going advanced just yet. So Rock definitely a little bit more ahead on getting the Mexes capped on his islands. And he's already got wins. So he puts these wins here. He's blocking. This is for... Um, protecting these against bombers. So instead of it bombing the mechs, it'll bomb the winds instead. So he can keep the metal going. And yep, there it is. He's already working on Moho Mine number one. And I'm going to guess he's going to Atlas this to an island. Maybe even just right here. Maybe he's probably going to do it right here and then get an advanced radar right here. Yep, 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 yep. All right, gonna alt tab real quick. I want to see what you guys are saying. Yo, someone's streaming the best game ever made, based Giga Chad. That's right. This is a Giga Chad stream. Five ads. I'm sorry about that, man. Um, I have, I literally have no control over that. That's all Twitch. Um, but I appreciate you being here, Nid Stain. <laughs> Nid, Nid Stain. Nid, Nid Stang. Sorry. 10,000 APM air unit micro. Yep. What's up, Soap? What color is that? It's red. Red apple. Um, I think it's a Fuji. Pretty sure. I can't really tell now because there's just bite marks all over it, but. Or maybe, no, maybe it's not a Fuji. Ah, uh, what kind of apple is this? It's important stuff, guys. Oh, wait, so Rock actually made three cons. I thought he only made one. Okay, so that's not too bad. And Rock's got Pels already on the way. But Metten switching into advance now. Probably a good idea. I think he realizes Rock has Pels. So the only way to really counter it is to make your own or... I guess in his case, he could have stayed C and built Crusaders. But I don't know. I just don't... I don't like Crusaders as much anymore. Because um, the thing with Crusaders before is... The wrecks actually used to block units from moving forward, so the Pels would get stuck a lot. And then that's when the Crusaders were really good. Because Pels would get stuck, and then they'd be standing still, stuck on the wrecks, and Crusaders can hit them and kill them really fast. Now, Pelicans can go over the wrecks, so nothing stops them from moving anymore, really. I think Pels are just... Um, I don't think that was the intention, but I think it's like an indirect buff to Pels and Gimps. Gimps uh, do 
walk over the water now <laughs> instead of going under like they did in OTA. As uh, Wingflyer calls them, the, they're Jesus, Jesus Gimps now. Damn, that's good. The Rock trying to raid the island. But I think he smartly turns around here. Rock's got, or Menton's got good defense on the island. He's just going to feed him metal. And Pelicans, you know, 200 metal per wreck. It's a good chunk of metal. So yeah, here, there's the Moho Mines, and there's the, the radar that I was talking about. It's a good spot for it. Let's see. Look at that coverage. Beautiful. So you can kind of see any attack coming from both sides here. You can kind of see where his units are moving. So you can mm, defend properly. Let's see. Menton's probably going to do the same. I believe he's, yeah, he's already Atlas 1 over here. I would like to see him Atlas 1 here and do what Rock does and just get, get a radar. Because this is a really good spot for one. And then take these uh, Mohos. Rock doesn't have Mohos on his side islands yet. Just focusing on capping the ones on his main island first. Uh, I think that's a smart idea. As he doesn't really have the metal to build multiple at the same time just yet. Looks like he atlas this one somewhere. Yep, he did. So he atlas it to this island now. So just working one at a, uh, one island at a time. Uh, I like that. From Rock. Just managing his metal income very well. Sometimes I get carried away and I try to build too many moho, moho mines at the same time and then I end up stalling a lot and it really slows down your production when you do that. So I think at the start, it's better to just build one at a time until you have enough metal to start doing multiple without stalling. The key is just trying not to stall in this game. That way it just keeps your production rolling at a good speed. And, uh, you know, the best players in the game are very good at managing that. I already know what Rock's plan is. Okay, I guarantee he's going to go Hawks. 100%. He's got the metal in the bank for it. He's building the air cons. Hawks are imminent. He's probably one of the best players to... Um, uh, he just always gets Hawks before you, I swear. His, his timing is so good on it. Actually, Rock excessing metal. Yeah, he's building metal. So at least he's building a metal storage to um, save it. Hmm, okay. Rock's actually doing what I, um, I'm actually surprised what Rock's doing here. So he's going to go advance C first. I mean, he has the metal to kind of just do that anyway, so. And then he's going to build Colossus out of here, which gives him, uh, which is the, the, um, what do you call him? The air repair pads. Uh, the, the C ones, and then if you, uh, they, they actually give you energy, so you just build a bunch of those, and that's how you um, skyrocket your energy production on C maps most of the time. You can still build fusions and stuff. There's nothing wrong with that, but um, collies are nice because you can use those to repair your hawks and rapiers and. All that, you know, all those good air units that you like to build. I actually like what he's doing, though. He's using Farks to build the energy. 
I haven't really seen anybody do this, but I, I like this. This is really gonna like skyrocket his energy income, and then he's gonna start building a crap ton of Moho Metal Makers. Let's see what Metan's up to. It's a lot of pills from Rock. Oh, but it's okay, Metan's, Metan's on his way with his. Will he get there in time though, before the damage is done? Focusing the advance con. Uh, and he gets it. Oh, wait, no, he gets the regular one. Kill the advance con. Kill it. Nice. A lot of metal here for Metan, though. Yep, a lot of met, uh, metal on uh, Metan's doorstep. 200, 200, 200, 200. That's, you know, probably like 2,000. 2,000 plus metal right there. For Metton. Right on his doorstep. Yep, Rox even agrees it's a bad move. Yeah, it was not a, not the best attack. Not the best attack there from Rock. But Rock's already got advanced air. Building bombers first. I actually like this choice because uh, what he's going to do, he, he knows that he has advanced air faster than Metan, so he's going to just build bombers instead to even slow down. He's just going to slow down everything from Metan. He's going to bomb all of his plants so he can't even get to advanced air. He's just going to keep him from growing. Just bomb him constantly. So he'll probably do a nice bomb run and then switch into Hawks afterwards. That's that's my guess. But, I mean, the economy is, uh, you know, energy-wise, energy, energy -wise, Metten's keeping up so far. And he did leave Metten a bunch of metal right here, so that's enough for an advanced air. If he can get Hawks up in time before this bomb run comes, um, he could snipe the bombers from doing too much damage. Yes, he, Rock's just going to be scouting to figure out what he's going to bomb. And it looks like his targets are the Moho Metal Makers and Advanced K-Bot. Primary targets. And he's even marked the titles too, so he can bomb some titles on the way in. Metan, okay, so this is Metan's choosing to go a crap ton of C here. Okay. Curious to see how this will work out for him. Because that's a lot of metal going towards Crusaders, so he's gotta make this uh he's gotta make this worth it. He can do a lot of damage to the islands. So he'll use the Crusaders to kill Pels. And then once the Pell numbers are thinned out, he can use the Pels to push onto the islands. Oh, but here comes the bomb run. Metton smartly running his commander away. Oh, God. That was a brutal run. He's probably going to get another pass. So he'll kill this air, air factory. Yep. Well, he kind of messed that up a little bit. But he gets the Moho Metal Makers, which kind of sucks for Metton. Just bombing the, Mo uh, the Moho Mines at this point. Yeah. Come to think of it, Metton doesn't really have a lot of anti-hair on this, uh, on this main. So, yep, that bombing run really, really hurt. And there it is. Rock switches into Hawks right after the bomb run. Predictable, predictable, Rock. But it doesn't matter because his his timings are so good, it it works. And it's hard, hard as hell to beat.
So now that hawks are on the field, um, <clears throat> he's going to need more skeets mixed into this to deal with that. Does he have advanced C? He does have advanced C up at least. But look, Rock already had 6k energy, so he's doubled up. And that's with these Farks and Aircons on the advanced shipyard. And he's, I'm pretty, I guarantee you he's overflowing a ton of energy. So now he's gonna, he can really start pumping out these metal makers, which give you about what, like 15, 16 metal. Okay, let's all tab here. I wanna see what you guys are saying. What's up, Venom? YouTube talking to Twitch, what a time to be alive, hell yeah. That's like one of my favorite things from this. Hey, what's up, Zach? I see you. TA best game ever made? Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Proof that we are indeed living in the future. Disgusting bombing run. Yeah, it was pretty brutal. Pretty much re uh, reset met into square one. Rock spamming HLTs here. I like it. It's just going to make it hard for him to push into that. Especially with the Hawks there. See, okay, rocks making a sec uh, second advanced air. No nukes yet, although he has the energy for it. Good, 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 get one. Crusaders are only see when the Pels stand still, the Crusaders, uh, you know, kind of poop on those Pelicans. But. Yeah, see, and he is making more skeets now. I think he realizes he needs them for uh, to help keep these hawks at bay. Oh, but here's more bombers. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Just doing anything he can to keep Menton's economy down. And more bombers. So one factory on Hawks, one on bombers. And he's, he's just going to keep bombing, bombing, bombing. Just wear you down. While he's growing his hawk lead. Now that he knows this advanced air is here, he's got it marked. And it looks like Rock's going to make another advanced seat. Probably going to get some uh, conquers. That's what I'm guessing. Oh, advanced seat con first. Okay. So... I've kind of seen Rog did this before. He's probably going to get advanced torp launchers and slowly kind of creep forward with them. Uh, let's see if he decides to do that. Yeah, honestly, Rog's just building like a beast. It's 
pretty good game though. It's got a decent amount of hawks here. And a big berth that has been started for Menton. This is definitely a defensive one. Kind of wants to use this to uh, fight this creep that Rock's kind of doing, like this little push that he's pushed forward. Rock doing the smart thing, just getting defense all over the place. It's going to make it a nightmare for Menton to push forward. Plants all jammed up. Lol. What's up, Aiden? Well, I kind of, I already kind of know what the score is. Um, I'll try to. No, it's, I, I'm pretty sure I've already ruined it for some people but I woke up I guess kind of well I didn't really wake up late but just uh, they've already played most of their games by the time I woke up so I missed a lot of the games so now I'm kind of re-watching old games I already kind of see I already seen how the the series ends but I'm not gonna say why so I can make it I do want to make a YouTube video out of these games so At this current game, it's Rock is up 2-0 at this point, and this is game three. This thing is still blocked, and Rock doesn't realize it. Third advanced air up, and he's building fusions now, so he's just... I mean, honestly, it's not even necessary. You just build a nuke instead. You already got this going on right here. Rock doing a good job splitting these up. Um, when you have these close together, they chain reaction, explode, and blow each other up. So, good idea for Rock to split those up. And Rock is going subs. So, is he going to build fibbers? I would love to see him build fibbers on this. Fibbers are basically like sonar jammers, which will make these subs a lot harder to deal with. They're pretty, pretty OP to be honest, those fibbers. Yep, and there's the advanced torp launchers that I was talking about. Menton's just trying to keep up. See those bomb runs are really like you can tell like how s s slow, uh, like how much it slowed down Menton's progression. Bomb runs really, really hurt. <clears throat> and uh, here come the subs. Ba -da -bom. And they're heading straight for the resources. Look how tanky these are. Boom. One down. Honestly, he could you can kind of send this in as like a a bomb and it'll blow up. See, it blows up the subs. <laughs> Just send in one at a time. These subs are really starting to put in work though. Solid play here from Rock. Bombs the advanced seed. That hurts. Oh, going for the calm now. Oh. Yeah, how come I can't see it? Oh. Okay, so damn. He's low.
Not looking good for men, man. Not looking good. Yeah, rock's just huge at this point. Honestly, I would love to just see some skeets here from Brock. That way he can, um, he has something he can use to uh, front line for his hawks. Cause he doesn't really have anything like anything to do that. Which just makes it hard for him to push in in general. So he kind of needs some like fodder in the front to make use of his hawks. Oh, and there it is. Rock is going to nuke now. Perfect. That's what I wanted to see. Just look at this, man. Rock's just everywhere, bro. Honestly, he could start building big berthas on this island. On these side islands and start shooting at... Um, just kind of slowly wear down these side islands until there's nothing left. Meanwhile, Metton's just trying to get factories up, you know, he's, these bombing runs are just brutal. Mmm, <laughs> that's a good apple. Delicious. Accuse <laughs> Jaws music. Men's got to take a game at least. Well, I hope so. I won't say nothing. We're currently watching game three. And uh, we have already streamed game four. I like what Rock's doing here with the subs. Honestly, like, you know, these the the tier one subs are pretty strong as is, you know, as is. I feel like you don't really need these tier two ones. And you can just make uh conquerors or uh, millenniums instead. Which can help you like clear the land part. And then you just use the tier one subs to like push. Um, yeah. Rock just with way more. Even with a flacker there, he still won that, so. It just shows you how far ahead he, he really is. Just look at Rocky. He's just slowly, like, taking over the map, dude. It's just all orange. I don't know how Rock does it, but 
in just most of his games, he's just, he's never the one that's really under pressure, you know? Because you play, yeah, most of the time, I, I know when I play, I make a lot worse decisions when I'm under pressure. And Rock's just really good at being the guy that's always putting on the pressure and not receiving it. He makes you play his game and not, not the other way around. Just brutal. Oh, here comes the bombers. Dun, da, da, da. Nice. Hit, oh, and the nuke. Jesus. <laughs> Carnage, bro. And... Ben just says GG taps out. I don't blame him. Like, I, there's, I don't think there's any way for him to come back at this point. Rock's just way too far ahead. And, um, yeah. Rock takes game three. GG guys, it's a good one. Wow, let's see what you guys are saying. And uh, yeah, that pretty much wraps up all the games for the tourney. So, uh, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. But fortunately, I got to get off and uh, get ready for the day. So. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun casting it, so hope you guys had fun watching. Good air superiority bombing skeets, yeah. Yeah, once once the first bombing run hit, I was like, this is yeah, I can just tell Rock is gonna snowball this win. Will you stream the TA es escalation tournament too? I definitely can, yeah. I wouldn't mind doing that. I just, the problem is I, I, I'm not, um, I don't have a lot of knowledge on like the escalation balance. So, I mean, if you guys don't mind, like, I won't be able to go into like deep analysis like I do with these games, but I mean, if you guys just want to see it and it'll be pretty basic commentary, but I can definitely do that. Yeah. Well, if you stream it, I will for sure watch. Hey, all right. Do you know when that's happening? I have no idea when that begins or... Or how their tournaments work. Our tournaments, like the way we do Pro TA is um, we do each, each round, usually on a weekend when people are available to play. I know other tournaments, they try to play all their games on one day. I just saw the signups just started. Oh, maybe I'll sign up and play. I might actually, maybe I'll actually play in the tournament. I'm pretty sure I won't get far, so I can always just cast after that, but. Um, <laughs> Cause I don't really know what I'm doing in Escalation. Like it, the, the starting gameplay is similar, but I think once it gets to like tech two stuff, balance really starts to change quite a bit. So let's see, nobody really saying, uh, what is this challenge one? Oh, speaking of the escalation tournament, Rock posted it in the game chat here. Let's see, you signing up, Rock. Oh, yep, so Rock's already signed up. And we got FN, uh, Lemon, uh, Vador, we got X, Harold, Race, Captain Kirky. 
Stag, Stagma Jr. Pretty solid lineup for Escalation. Good players. Uh, let's see, does it say when these are played? Double elimination starts October 1st. Check-ins. Okay, so it starts in a month. Perfect. Oh, Are we trying to post the link, Bartolf? I'm my bad. Nightbot, he's a trigger happy bot. Um, honestly, I wouldn't really mind if people post post links. I just get a lot of spam. Uh, sometimes you get like those guys posting, you know, naughty links, <laughs> trying to get you to sign up for their uh, 18 plus website. If you know what I mean. I was pasting schedule from Discord. Oh, it wasn't? Oh, weird. I don't know why Nightbot would ban that then. Oh, sorry. Let's see. I, mean, I got all the information here, I guess. So yeah, I'll probably sign up for this. I mean, why not? It'll be fun. Maybe I'll start playing some uh, Escalation. Oh boy. Okay, yeah, I'll check out the TA Escalation Discord and figure out more info. <laughs> What's up? Because you suck. Hey man, I know this, okay? You don't need to tell everybody else though. I'd sign up if I wasn't complete garbage at the game. I mean, who cares? Fuck it, dude. Like I, like I already know I'm not gonna win, but I think it's just fun to compete and play. Compared to most of these guys, I suck too. So, um, I I understand. Uh, nothing much, man. I was streaming the the finals, but. Um, you just missed it, man. I just streamed the last game. Yeah, looks like everybody's AFK. So I don't really think there's going to be any games played for, for now. So, um, where you been though? I haven't seen you around Warjack. You're going to come back, play some. TA eventually. You doing other stuff? Yeah, all good, man. All good. Let's see, Postal is saying. Um, uh, <laughs> well this is a uh uh if you're still here venom yes i did do that on purpose just because i know um some things could be you know not f youtube friendly in the chat <laughs> the way we talked back then is completely different than now and uh i, I don't want to get in trouble so i did i did cover that up on purpose yeah <laughs> Uh, it's funny. I, uh, I'm glad you noticed that. That's hilarious. Playing Valheim. Um, do you want to play Valheim or what do you mean TA? Uh, no, I gotta, I gotta get going here, but I gotta get to work here pretty soon. I, I kind of took uh this morning off to stream this, so uh, I'm gonna go to 
get ready for work here. Get out and make some money. But maybe later tonight, if you are around, you gonna be on tomorrow? I mean, possibly, yeah. Usually at night though. Um, I don't really play much during during the day. As uh, yeah, you know. Work sucks. Hey, th thanks for the follow, War Jack. Appreciate it. Let's take a look. Oh, you can find more info on Discord. So let's take a look at the Discord stuff. I do kind of like the double elimination, kind of give you more than one chance to, you know, come back and win. The way we kind of do it, it's it's pretty, you know, single elimination. Once you lose, you're out, and that's it. So I kind of like having the loser losers bracket because, uh, you know, I'm a loser, so I need, <laughs> I need extra help to get as far as I can get in this game. <laughs> Uh, all right, so yeah, I'll take a a good read on this, and uh, yeah, I'll probably sign up and uh participate in the tournament. Most likely, get eliminated, and then I can cast it. And then, at least from playing escalation games, I'll have some knowledge on the balance. That sounds like a plan. I'll be all night, so hit me up, Broham. All right. Yeah, sounds good, Warjack. All right, guys, take care. I'm out of here. Um, have a good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for you. And I'll catch you guys next time. All right, take care.